What's going on everybody? Welcome back. And today we have landed in Orlando. We are at the resort actually checking some things out here before we head to dinner at California Grill. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience with American Airlines. There's really nothing bad to really say. It was a great flight, had a great time. The flight was a little bumpy, but that was because of the turbulence. Other than that, not too bad. We're staying at the Residence Inn. We're gonna do a full walkthrough later tonight when we come back in. Uh, but without any further ado, let's hit the intro and let's head over to the Contemporary. So we are here at California Grill and sorry I got sugar all on my lips. <clears throat> You get the same thing. Actually, I didn't get the same thing. For an appetizer, I got just a bowl of fruit because all the appetizers really wasn't something that I wanted. Last time I tried the wontons, I didn't too much care for them, but I'm not saying for anybody else that you guys can like it. This is just my personal preference. And then I got the blueberry lemon drop martini. Let me show you guys what this thing looks like. It is so, so yummy. Believe me, it is so good. And then of course I got the filet of beef, which is a filet mignon. And it's, it's so good, it's so rich with flavor. I haven't even gotten it yet. I can tell you right now, it's really good. Um, I think what I'm gonna try in September is probably the pork tenderloin. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys what I get when it gets here. The environment here is, is in freaking incredible. It's relaxed, it's, it's a fine dining experience, really, really good. Waiters, top notch. I always leave a good tip for these guys because they do such a great job. So I'm gonna let you guys take a look at the environment. We'll get some pictures of the castle and stuff later on. All right, so we have arrived at Disney Springs. Man, it is freaking cold. It's about 40 degrees. Uh, we are here on a mission. Um, look at all the Christmas stuff, go see what they got. And I think first order of business is I wanna go by World of Disney because I really wanna find me a, a new hoodie, something that's a little more thick. So, and we're gonna show you guys everything that's here, starting with this ginormous Christmas tree right here. So, it's great. different Christmas trees decorated to theme certain uh, Disney shows. They had one that was themed for Coco and then they had a, another one that was themed for Moana. And I think there's quite a few more that are around here. But we're gonna head to World of Disney because uh, I'm freezing my Rasa Fasa Nene's off. freaking lie first day first freaking day and I see someone in the balloon not 15 minutes after I get here but with the kid it took us four and a half days to find him a balloon and then 15 minutes after I get off the bus boom balloon that's crazy I guarantee you if the kid had been here with me there was a single balloon in sight not one that's crazy but we're right outside World of Disney, so we're gonna go in here and do a little shopping. I love how they decorated the tree uh, for that. They put the, the, the symbols on the door. 
as Christmas ornaments. That was that was actually really cool. Now we're in a place where I could spend fourteen hundred dollars, but we're just here for two things and two things only. So let's see what we can find. I think that'll work. It's a pretty heavy jacket too. On top of some uh, long sleeves and thermal, you'd be all right. Asher loves Buzz Lightyear. We've been trying to find a one where the wings pop out and they light up and stuff. Yeah, I always bring them back a tr uh, something from a trip. So this is what he gets this time. He's gonna love this. All right, so we just got out of World of Disney. Uh, I only spent $130 and I only bought two things. Uh, I got me a jacket, a coat, which I didn't have one anyway. I've been wearing hoodies for freaking years. Um, and I got Asher a Buzz Lightyear, like I showed you guys. But this one's way better than his. Comes in the spaceship and everything. He's gonna love that. Um, so. I got what I came for, uh, got me a couple pictures, so I'm going to walk around here, see if we can get some, some photo places to get some pictures taken and try to see what all Christmas stuff, uh, I've been trying to get pictures and videos of all the Christmas trees and stuff so you guys can see it. Uh, it's getting dark, uh, which means it's starting to cool off, but uh, it's, it's not as cold if the wind wasn't blowing as bad, but that's what makes it so yeah. Um, so we're just kind of walking around, burning some time. We've got uh, we've got about 30 minutes before we have to leave Disney Springs and go back to the Contemporary for the fireworks. Um, so we're gonna check this stuff out over here. I have no idea what this is. We didn't come over here in this area when we came with Asher, so we're gonna check it out. So that place is loaded with Toy Story stuff, obviously. Um, also right now, uh, they're doing meet and greet with Santa Claus. So if you got photo pass, you can go in there and get your picture taken with Santa and come out. And the carousel's right here. Yeah, we missed this whole area when we were here with Asher. I think because we were in a hurry. Uh, because uh, we had a really, really busy day and we had dinner and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so uh, we're gonna come over here and check out this place called Days of Christmas. Let's go check it out. That's actually a really cool place. Um, all those Christmas ornaments are glass. So if you have small children that come in the store and you really don't want them to break anything, just kind of keep that in mind that they are glass. They're not plastic. They're real glass. Um, man, I wonder, oh look, it's Rainforest Cafe. I wonder how long it takes to make one of those ornaments. That's crazy. Um, all right, I have no idea what we're gonna do next. We may end up making our way back to the bus to go back to the contemporary uh, because I got an itch to want to go buy something so we're gonna probably get out of here while we're ahead <laughs> the Jack Skeleton tree it's the very very tree I was looking for <clears throat> there is maps that you can get and you can be able to see where all of these are located but I didn't want to do that I want to do it the old-fashioned way and just kind of walk around and see them for myself um, so we're about to head out we gotta start getting back start getting ready for the fireworks uh, so yeah we're gonna go see how this main tree is lit up see what it looks like on our way out
never know what you're gonna run into. I was wondering what the music was coming from. For anyone who doesn't know, that's one of the themes to Pirates of the Caribbean. So, it's actually really cool. Uh, very, very talented dude. So, hats off to that dude. Well, that's gonna be so long from Disney Springs. We're gonna make our way back over to the Contemporary Resort, get ready for our stream, and uh, maybe ride the monorail a little while. Kinda just relax. I'm tired, man. Uh, waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning, getting ready to get on two airplanes, one that had a delayed flaw, I'm just, I'm, I'm spent. So after the fireworks, uh, we're going back to the hotel, take a shower, get ready to have the real fun tomorrow. So, but we're gonna go wait on the bus and head to back to the contemporary. What's going on everybody so that was the fireworks i didn't really get an opportunity to show you guys the room so i figured i would end the video by when i got back to my resort and show you guys how everything is i'm staying at the residence and it is a fairly new hotel it's in flamingos crossing it's about five minutes outside of disney world it is off property so you don't get early theme park entry or any of that crazy stuff that i don't even use anyway um so we're gonna start with this. Get a full kitchen and they have dishes. <clears throat> I don't know if they're silverware, yeah. Pot holders. This is probably the smallest thing of salt and pepper I've ever seen in my life. All right, whatever. Deep sink, garbage disposal, dishwasher, stove, microwave, Refrigerator, fridge, there's even uh, ice trays in there. And then you got like a big uh, living room area. A little, uh, nice little couch. Um, desk and the TV actually turns like that. So you can watch the TV right there. That's pretty cool. King size bed, this is the king suite. Um, and then my room, I have a really good view of the pool down here. Uh, that's pretty sweet. And then over here, you've got this. Pretty decent sized drawers. Cabinets for whatever you want to put stuff in. And you got walk-in closet. <clears throat> pretty fun. Full-size bathroom. Stand-up shower. That's pretty much it. Um, and this was actually one of the uh, cheapest neighborhood hotels that they had. Really nice free breakfast buffet too. So, all right, man, I'm gonna call it. It's after nine o'clock. So um, I'm gonna unpack and get everything moved over and we will see you guys tomorrow at Hollywood Studios. Peace. <laughs>